Hello fellow EDF real estate entrepreneurs. Did you know that this is my house right here? I live here. This is I live on the second floor actually and this is my blue trash can I bought the other day and this is my tricycle and my pail I like to use with the sandbox when I go to the beach. And this is my plants I'm growing back here, some baby peas and some uh some looks like tomatoes I'm trying to grow back here. And here's another blue trash can my friend bought because they were jealous of me. But anyway, not only is this a good neighborhood to live in because it's quiet, but also it benefits you that I live here. And the reason I say that is because the buildings in this game are very valuable. Um, I was just thinking the other day as I was playing this um, and using these buildings again for the I don't know how many times to survive, that these buildings are so valuable. And um, let me explain a little bit. Like, for example, if you're playing a mission like a higher level mission on Inferno or so forth with low health and say you need to reload your your weapon you're low on energy or say you just uh, need to recover a little bit or try and survive even a little bit because the enemies are overtaking you these buildings are so valuable to stay alive because you can always pull these enemies through these buildings and they get stuck and they get caught and they get slowed down a little bit so it's very beneficial to just Say you just need to regain your energy a little bit. You can stand here for a couple seconds, regain, and then just fly and continue to fight. Um, say, for example, the fencer class, other classes too. Um, if you like, whenever I need to reload my javelin catapult, and I'm in the in the in the middle, I'll I'll try and head to some buildings to uh, to make sure that I can reload safely, or if I reload a shield or something just like that, I can always use these buildings to just give me buy me some time to survive while I'm doing the fight. Another thing I like to use is say you're an air raider and you need to revive somebody and you're the last one alive, you have a vehicle. You can always drive, you know, to a corner of a map and pull the enemies through the building and then and then you, then once the enemies follow you, then you can turn around and go back to the person you need to revive. Um, it's very valuable and that's why I, I usually don't like to take um, uh, explosives on maps a lot too much if you're trying to uh, kite enemies around because they can be very valuable to keep you alive by just having these buildings up. Um, also, it's also great for uh, wasps or drones. Like say you need to uh, survive against a bunch of those. You can always go between you know two buildings that are close together and uh, just hide between those and fight from there whether with fire or you know if you're an air raider you can always take um, you know, like strafe plans or artillery, because those those air raids do not destroy buildings, and you can use those to, you know, just stay between, stay safe, and just attack the enemies without uh, without dying. So, I just figured I'd address. It's not a big, you know, a big tip or anything like that, but I just use it so often. I figured that it's kind of valuable to address, um, and also it can be pretty useful for you know hectors as well to block or dragons as well. Dragons have a tough time. Uh, dealing with buildings as well, they'll get caught. Also, um, if you have tall buildings in a city, it's pretty good to to use the tall buildings to let the, the queen wasp, for example, will land on top of those tall buildings and get stuck and then it's easier to attack them as well. So there's definitely a lot of a lot of uh, value to these using these buildings to help you out. And I've definitely these things definitely have saved my life a lot of times in this game. And uh, especially greens. Greens are really fast, but they really struggle trying to get between buildings. So, so as long as you stay within these buildings, it can be pretty valuable. Because you know, for example, on this map, you can always have someone up top on the roof of that building there, you know, sniping these holes while someone is in front, you know, kiting these around. Or you know, for example, you can kite these enemies around, and then when you get a chance, you can just fly in and kill the kill the nest, and then move on and do it again, just keep circling around and doing that until you actually have everything dead. But, uh, but yeah, very valuable to use buildings to your advantage. So, uh, just figured I'd talk a little bit about that. And, uh, and anyway, uh, thanks for watching. See you next time.